Today, my sister Hannah was digging up some mystery eggs here at my zoo. We were digging inside of my turtle ponds because the turtles have started laying eggs. We yeah. have got to come here and we've got to check all of our ponds. Now, there's definitely not eggs in this one right here because there's a male tortoise. Oh. There, wait, wait. Look, he's wait. up. Is she, is she nesting? I'm gonna be really gentle because you never know what we're gonna find. There's so many. So many. Oh, everyone. Oh, look, look guys. Look, 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 it's look. literally there's, a there's, jackpot. There's, what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today my sister Hannah was digging up some mystery eggs here at my zoo. We were digging inside of my turtle ponds because the turtles have started laying eggs. But what we have also noticed is not only do turtles lay eggs in there, but some of the crazy invasive lizards that we have here in South Florida will also nest inside of their tubs. I found all kinds of crazy eggs inside of my turtle ponds. Not only did we dig up those eggs today, but we went inside of my incubators to check for some baby tortoises and we pulled some ticks off of my tortoises. So today's video is an action packed one full of mystery eggs, turtles, tortoises, monkeys, all the crazy stuff that you guys love to see. So if you want to see Hannah dig up the mystery eggs, you want to see some ticks on the tortoises, you want to see baby monkeys, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into today's video. So let's head in and let's go check out the incubators. All right guys, I just got into my office and we have got to check the incubators for baby tortoises and just the eggs in general. We do this several times a week because this time of year we have tortoises laying eggs nearly every day now. I don't even know how many eggs we have in here. I think we've got almost 100 eggs. So not only are we gonna be checking the incubators out, but I'm also giving all of you an update on our critically endangered Recordi rock iguana. So don't mind my desk, it's a little bit sloppy and messy right now. So right in here, we have our critically endangered Recordi rock iguana. So you can see these guys right here. We've had these since about October and these guys are getting so, so big. So we're not gonna stick our hands in there, but these are a critically endangered species of rock iguanas. This is probably the one of the most endangered animals that we have here on the property and it's such a privilege to work with them. Now these guys definitely get a little bit spooky when you try to handle them. So that's why we're not gonna handle them. We just kind of admire them from afar. We've got some fresh food for them, but you can see that that right there is our female. And what's really cool about these Recordi, unlike other rock iguanas, is these guys actually have a really spiky tail, which is really cool to see. These guys are, are happy, healthy, and doing well. And we're gonna leave these guys be because we just gave them their breakfast. We've got some zucchini and romaine lettuce in there today. And now it is time to check out our incubators because Hannah is on the way to help us look for ticks, to look inside of the mystery pond. So we're gonna take a look inside of the incubators now. And I think we're going to start here so we can see we've got our eggs inside of here. Let's open it up because we want a nice even air exchange in here to kind of air it out, let some new oxygen in. And we just collected these eggs last night so we do have to put these inside later on. So we've got some fresh red foot eggs in here and we've got to actually add them into perlite just like this. So we've got some eggs in here and none of these are hatching out because these were just recently laid in the past month. And with all of these tortoise eggs, the reason why we bring them in the incubator is to give them the best possible chance at hatching out. If we leave them in the ground, they will hatch out. As you guys know, we've found plenty of babies wandering around with the adults. But to give them the highest hatch rate possible, we put them in the incubator where we have constant temperature and constant humidity. So right now we've got 84 degrees and 90% humidity, which for these tortoise eggs is perfect. And inside of here, we're at 84% humidity, well, 89% humidity and 84 degrees. So I'm just taking a look and right here, look at that. There's some broken eggshells. I think, yeah, there's definitely baby tortoises in here. Look at this. Look at that baby. Look, we got babies. This is so cool. We've got five perfect little baby red foot tortoises. And there looks like there's an one egg that has not hatched. And I'm gonna pick it up and just by the feel of it, it feels heavy but it looks like it was twisted and turned. So I'm gonna smell this egg right here because a lot of times when these eggs are bad, if you wait, yep, that, that, that's rotting. That's not a good egg. And if we put our phone light to the egg, you can see that it's completely hollow. It's not dark, so there's definitely nothing inside. But look at this, guys. This is so exciting to see. We've got five beautiful, adorable baby red foot tortoises. These guys look like they just hatched in about the past couple days. You can still see that they've just kind of finished absorbing his yolk sac right here. You can see that's the last little remnants of his yolk. So we've got one, 
we've got our second little guy, so we always want to check them out because sometimes we have some born without eyes, sometimes they don't have nostril holes, so we just want to check them out. This guy must be in here for about five days now, and we're going to check all of these little babies out right now, and these all look like they're happy and healthy little baby redfoot tortoises. They're absolutely perfect, and to be able to come in here on this beautiful afternoon and find new life, well, there is no better feeling. I mean, who doesn't love finding cute little baby tortoises? Hannah, is that you? Yeah, Hannah? me. What's up? You're not going to believe what I found. What happened? Look, look what What's I found. Wait, wait, look. Look what I got for you. Oh my gosh. My I've favorite. got babies for you. My look. favorite. Guys, this, favorite? Is, this is my favorite stage of the tortoise life. This, I mean, how could you guys resist this? I know, look right? We've got five oh baby goodness. red foot they tortoises. They their egg too. Absolutely adorable. So wait, let me show people the egg too. So if you look at the tip of his nose, you can see, let me actually try to focus in on it. If you see on the tip of his nose right there, there's that little point. They use that little point to actually rub against the eggshell like that. And that's what they use to break free from the eggshell. Hannah, aren't they amazing? They're absolutely adorable. They're, oh, this guy's trying to escape. Oh, Look. he's trying to oh, escape. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get oh back. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. So right now, Hannah is putting all the little baby tortoises into a new bin. We're actually gonna soak these guys to make sure they're nice and hydrated because with baby tortoises, you wanna soak them every other day in shallow water to make sure they're hydrated. And then at the end of today's video, we're gonna be cracking open this egg right here. Now, even though it smells and it's rotten, there could have been a developing tortoise that actually was developing and passed away in the egg. So Hannah, we're going to crack it open and see what's inside. Uh, I'm a little scared. You're a little scared? I might be a little scared because whenever we crack these eggs open, sometimes they explode. Sometimes there's it's, animals inside. It's never, they just reek. They smell it so it bad. smells so bad. So we're going to crack this egg open. But in the meantime, we're going to go soak these baby tortoises and go search for some ticks on the rest of our tortoises. So right now we've got our little baby tortoises in here. And we're just going to turn the sink on just like this and we're going to start filling it up. We don't want too much water. I think that this right here is going to be just the perfect amount for our baby tortoises. So we're going to leave these guys soaking. They're adorable. So Hannah, so cute. we're going to go find some ticks right now. I'm excited. And, and then you're going to be digging in the ponds because really? we might have some pond monsters that need to be dug up oh or gosh. creatures that are in the really? ponds. Really? Oh yeah. no, no. Yeah. So right now, my mom is giving little Alfie Jr. a bottle. So since Alfie's still a little baby, he's going to get his bottle about every four to five hours. But Alfie does not. What do you want, baby? What do, what do, you, want to, do you want to me? Do you want to me? Alfie doesn't know what he wants. So Hannah and I are getting ready to go check all of the tortoises for ticks. And of course, had to bring some assistance today. So we have Theo Jr. and Alfie, which are going to be assisting us. Hannah, I don't know how they're going to do. Do you think they're going to dig up I, eggs? I think they're going to love it, honestly. I think they're going to love they're it. Love so it. Yeah. being able to bring our primates out for activities like digging up eggs is incredible enrichment for them. New sight, sounds, and smells are the greatest enrichment that you can give any animal. So Hannah, let's head out and let's go look for some eggs. Let's do it. Okay. So we normally check out the redfoot tortoises first, but we already checked them earlier today. So we're going to check the radiated and star tortoises. So we've got both of them here. So Hannah, I think you should check out the star okay. tortoises right. and me and Alfie are going to check out the radiated. Hannah is the team Theo and I am team Alfie. So guys, comment down below right now, which team is going to find some ticks first. Now, typically we don't see ticks really ever on these tortoises, but just as a preventative, we're going to check. So Hannah, you go over there. You might have to All crawl right. into the house. I'm going to go over here. I think we're going to start with these guys. So we just set these little guys up in this little pen. Now, since these the younger radiateds are still small, we still have a wire lid with them just in case any rats or raccoons want to come and try and chew on them. So these are a critically endangered species from Madagascar. So we've got one of our radiated tortoises here that we've been raising up. So typically when we look for ticks on tortoises, Alfie wants to say hi. We look in the legs and in the corners and right here, I am not seeing anything. Normally the ticks kind of hang out in all these little spots right here. But that thick armor that you see on their legs kind of prevents the ticks from latching on. So we just checked one tortoise. Hannah, you seeing anything? Well, I'm checking this one. I don't see it, but Theo's Wait. making a friend. Wait, Theo's making a friend? Yeah, Theo wants to say hi. Theo, oh, be you, careful. Theo, are you saying hi you to, have to Theo, are you saying hi to the tortoise? Oh, she's going to so, find more of them. Wait, she's going to go find more? I think she's, she's going to go see. Cactus. And <laughs> Alfie's back on you. Oh so my goodness, yes. Oh, be careful. Be you nice. can't poke his nice. nose. So we want to look all in the little legs right here. And right all on right, the bottom Theo, of the shell, we've out. got some stuck food. But you see anything, Theo? I don't see it. Theo, do you see anything? Theo's investigating. And if Theo saw a tick, I'm sure Theo would try to get it. So Theo is kind of that leg, Theo. Yeah. Theo's checking out the tortoise, looking at them, <laughs> hanging out with them. What is that, Theo? So I'm not seeing anything here. And yeah, these I think tortoises, this guy's clear. I, I think so, too. So these are Burmese star tortoises from Burma, India. So we've got a bunch of these, Hannah. So I think you're going to have to get the rest of them. Right. Why don't you go Why don't you go crawl in there? Okay. Uh, I'm a little, I don't know. I think I might send the monkeys. Okay. All right, Hannah, are you ready? All right, I'm going in the hole. Pray for me, guys. All right, guys, comment down below a prayer for Hannah. 
Theo wants to get it, so Hannah's trying to reach in. She's got monkeys on her back. The monkeys okay. are going here. Uh, and we are trying to find some tortoises. Hannah, you got it? I got one. You got it? Oh, yeah. All this right, guy's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy, right? So let's take a look. So we want to look on the necks. Now we're not seeing any ticks there, right? No, I'm not no seeing ticks anything. At all. So guys, the ticks will be on that nice soft skin right there by the neck, but let's look at his legs. That's where I'll we'll normally see him on the tortoises. We're looking at the legs. And let's this see. is a male right here. And we know that this is a male because he's got this really long tail right here. So we're not seeing anything yeah, on Yeah, I don't guy. see anything on I, him. I don't see anything on him either. I don't think he has anything. Nope. So we checked out the star tortoises and we checked out the baby radiated. So the only tortoise left in this area is the bigger radiated. So we're going to have to close these guys on up for the night. Because we definitely don't want any raccoons or rats getting to these guys. We're going to come inside and search for the big guy. And I'm thinking the big guy is going to be over here. So Hannah, why don't you flip that over right now? All right. We flip it over in three, two. One. Is it there? Yep. Oh, so right man. here we got our big radiated tortoise right here. This right here is our big male radiated tortoise. Now I've raised this tortoise up since he was the size of my hand. If you look at this picture right here, this is when this tortoise was a tiny little baby and look at him now. Over six years later, or might be seven years at this point, and you can see that this is a big male radiated tortoise, critically endangered species from Madagascar. And we know that it's a male because it's got this wide plaster on and you can see it's really wide right here and it's got this long tail. That's an indicator for a male tortoise. So this tortoise is absolutely beautiful and we're just going to search his neck for some ticks. I'm not seeing anything and this is a really friendly little radiated tortoise. So we're looking around. I'm not seeing any ticks here and we're going to flip him on over right here just like that. And we're going to search his legs. So when we search the legs, we will kind of gently hold the leg and he'll kind of like give us a little bird's eye view in here. And I'm not seeing anything, but I am seeing like these little red dots on him, which I'm not sure what that's from. Could be from some ants inside of here, but I'm looking here on the legs and everything looks nice and clean. So all of our radiated tortoises are tick free. So we're just going to cover these guys back on up. We're going to let this big guy go back to sleep. And now that we got to check out all of the tortoises here, Hannah and I are going to head over to the Galapagos tortoises. We're going to check them out and see if they have some ticks and we're able to see any ticks that are on his legs or his neck so hannah and i have almost made it to the galapagos habitat now we have our two galapagos and one aldabra that are already away for the winter and the big guy must have actually closed the door on them by accident but hannah you think we're gonna find some ticks today i think so we always end up uh, we finding always something. end up finding something here it's been kind of wet and this tortoise is literally waiting at the Aww. door to go in for the night he already knows what's up but Hannah, why don't you look at the front neck? I'm going to look at his okay. back legs. So we're going to look right here for some ticks. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to find. So we might find some underneath here. Do you see anything on his front? I'm, I'm not trying. seeing anything here. Oh, I see one. You do? Guys, yeah. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a little tick right over here. Now, I'm going to kind of move my fingers right here. Wait, I, wait. Oh. Wait, Hannah, is he moving? I got him. I'm trying you to hold him. him. Trying right, to hold, hold him. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting him. Almost. Get it, wait. I don't really have it. I don't have it. <sighs> so right here, we've got the two ticks that we pulled off of our bigger Galapagos tortoise. So we're going to put both of them down right here. And we're actually going to pop them because we do not want these ticks to be spreading to other tortoises to stay on the Galap. So we're going to come here with this little rock right here. We're going to go one, two. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was, that was, that in, was disgusting. That was insane. And then right here, one, two. <laughs> okay, we got both of them. Oh my gosh, these are the nastiest ticks That's that disgusting. I have ever seen. So we pulled two of the ticks off. So we're gonna go check for some more ticks and let him in his house for the night. So as he's walking away, there's literally a tick right here on his leg. You guys can see it oh, right there. See? Wait, wait, let me see it. Oh, it was hidden. I got it, I got it. Look at that, Hannah, I got it right there. Oh my gosh. We got one tick right here. Wait, so we got one tick. Going over here. All right, stop him from okay. going over there. On, buddy, Honestly, in the meantime, later. we're just gonna put the tick in our pocket to keep him safe. So now that we got to pull some giant ticks off the Galapagos tortoise, which was absolutely insane, crazy. we really crazy. We yeah. have got to come here and we've got to check all of our ponds. Now, there's definitely not eggs in this one right here because there's a male tortoise. Oh. There, wait, wait. Look, he's wait. up. Is she, is she nesting? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Hannah, look, she was digging a hole. Oh. Look at that. So she was digging a nest. Theo, look, what do you see? Oh my gosh. So right Theo. here. Oh my gosh. So Theo just caught a spider and we're here and look. I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but this tortoise looks like she was just making a nest. So wait, we need to leave her alone, Hannah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Good this idea. is our female Indian spotted. Her. Hannah, we're getting eggs. Oh my gosh. So we're definitely gonna get some eggs from her, maybe tonight or in the next couple of days. Right in here is a male tortoise. Inside of here, we actually have all females. So even if they were to be laying eggs, 
We actually, they would not be fertile, but it doesn't look like anything has been digging around in here. Everything looks nice and hard. But where there definitely could be some eggs. Whoa, Hannah. careful, whoa, the tree. Whoa, whoa, the yeah. tree. Where did she go? Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, what are you doing in the tree? Come on, baby monkey. Come on. Come, come, I know, come, we gotta come. find some baby turtles. Tree. Yes. Theo loves hanging out in the trees. And the last thing that we have got to check is this pond right here. Because this pond right here, Hannah, Remember, there's albino turtles in here. Oh yeah, isn't this one of the bunch? Yes, like a there's bunch a bunch in here. So we moved all of our pink bellies over here because the other pond started leaking. So okay, we that. have one of our beautiful albino turtles right here. We've got some nice clean water. Not only do we have one albino, but over here we have a second albino. So we got a bunch of albino turtles in here. We also have regular pink bellies. We've literally got all kinds of turtles in here. Wait, let me grab this guy. We've got regular pink belly side necks right here, and my favorite ones are really the albinos. The albinos are absolutely incredible, and the reason why these are albino is because they have these red and pink eyes. So you can see that they have that lack of pigmentation in their skin and their shell, which gives them this rosy pink and white color. Now they still have that orange belly, just like the adults, but these are some of my absolute favorite turtles in the world. And last year, Hannah, Remember we found some albino babies? Oh, I remember. It they were so cute. It was so cool. So we got this little guy right here, and the nesting season is kind of just beginning. So we have him. We've got his other friend right here. We got our other albino. Out, out, okay, okay. There you go. All right, buddy. We'll leave you alone. But Hannah, I think we should start digging around for Let's eggs. do it. Right, I'm excited. Go. So let's take a look over here. So we got a little okay, nest we're... box. So right. where I'm thinking, honestly, Hannah, you see right here in this corner, it looks like something was digging oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks Wait, like loose. Yes, it looks loose right there. So that's an indicator. Everything else looks like it hasn't been disturbed, but right over here, it definitely looks like there could be some eggs. So we just want to be really careful. Now, Hannah, how you want to do this is you want to come here. You want to be really gentle because you never know what we're going to find. And you never know where the eggs are going to be. And we don't know when they were laid, so we don't want to hurt the eggs. We don't want to crack them. We don't want to flip them and turn them. We want to leave them exactly as they were laid. All right, Hannah, are you finding anything? I'm not finding anything here. Guys, I'm I don't, not seeing anything Yeah, I don't think either. they're in this spot. I don't think so either. So we just, oh, oh, <gasps> oh you see that? Oh my gosh. Wait, there's one. Oh, <gasps> there's a whole bunch. Wait, all right, we gotta be there's really one, careful. one, two, three. All right, but there's probably a lot more than three. These turtles can yeah. lay up to 20 oh. guys. Do you see that? Oh my we gosh, have an I see egg. another one. There's another one? Yeah, guys, we have a ton one. of eggs here. So Hannah, you keep digging the eggs out. All what right. I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add some of this dirt. We wanna put the eggs on this nice soft dirt, but what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna move the eggs from the way that they were laid. Because again, they could be here for a couple of days. I am not entirely sure, but that seems like it's a good amount of dirt. So we have our first egg. So Hannah, when you go to pick up the egg, you want to just grab it so just tiny. like this. Look at that. We have a beautiful turtle egg. Oh my gosh. And it's definitely fertile. It's hard to see on camera right now. The real question is, what the heck is this mystery egg? Because uh, it could be an albino egg. turtle. Yeah. It could be a regular turtle. Theo wants to definitely yeah. eat this egg. But we're going to take the egg and we're going to put it nice and gentle right here. And you can kind of see that little red right there. That means that it's a fertile egg. So we're just going to put it there nice and easy. And Hannah, okay. let's keep moving them right. out of the way. Oh, Look at that. I think this one should be oh, the next one. we got guy. another one. Wait, wait, All you got to right. be really careful. Pick it up just in the same way that it was laid. Place it right down like that. Just like that. Wait, let me see it. Perfect, Hannah. You're doing a great job. So, guys, Gosh, what I want you to so do many. right now, there's so many. So many. Show everyone. Oh, look, guys. Look, 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 it's look. literally there's, a jackpot. There's like, a it's jackpot. on gold. There's a ton. So, oh guys, what goodness. I want you to do right now is go right now and comment down below. How many eggs are we going to dig up? So, Hannah and I have dug around the entire mystery pond, and let me tell you, guys, we have found... A lot. We found a lot of eggs. We have found a lot of eggs. So, let's count right here, guys. So, how many did we get, Hannah? We got yeah, one, two. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen turtle eggs. Now, I'm so excited, Hannah, because most of these are fertile. All of them except this one look fertile, but we're still going to keep that guy in here. So, now that we dug up inside of the mystery pond, well, we have got to come here to this egg right here. This is the egg from the incubator that we were not sure if it was fertile or not we said we were gonna crack it open so we're gonna head over here Hannah and you ready to crack this thing yeah, open? let's do it I'm excited I'm excited to see what's in it so guys let me know down below what do you think we're gonna find so right now guys the moment you've been waiting for we are gonna crack open the mystery egg right here so we're just gonna take it and we're just gonna throw it right here in three two one ah! okay oh, wait, is it cracked I thought it was gonna explode I thought it was gonna explode too so we're gonna open it up just like this and wait oh my gosh wait does it smell Okay, it doesn't smell that bad, but it is definitely not fertile. So right in here, this is what an infertile egg smells like. So it was smelling before, 
but for some reason it's not. So this is what an infertile tortoise egg looks like. You can see we've got the mucous membrane completely around the yolk right here. So we kind of want to remove the mucous membrane out and we might actually try and feed this to some of the other tortoises. So you can see right here, this is the yolk of an infertile tortoise. So guys, let me know down below, what should we do with this egg? I'm thinking in the near future, we're actually going to cook my tortoise eggs that are infertile and we're going to try and eat them. So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy watching today's video, digging up the mystery ponds and cracking open this tortoise egg. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. What was your favorite part of today's video? And if you want to see if these eggs hatch, you want to see us cook some tortoise eggs. Well, guys, you are in the right place. And all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.